So we're going to go live now to Toronto Police Headquarters. Mayor Olivia Chow is helping launch a campaign at reducing 911 wait times. For Toronto Centre, Ward 13. Uh, before we begin, I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge the land we are on is the traditional territories of many nations, including the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Anishabek, the Chippewa, the Haudenosaunee, and the Wendat peoples, and is now home to many diverse First Nations, Inuit, and Métis peoples. We also acknowledge that Toronto is covered by Treaty 13 with the Mississaugas of the Credit. As a Caribbean Canadian, I am committed to continually acting in solidarity with our African, Caribbean, and Black communities, seeking freedom and reparative justice in light of the history and ongoing legacy of slavery that continues to impact our communities across Canada. As part of this commitment, I would also like to acknowledge that not all people came to these lands as migrants and settlers. Specifically, I wish to acknowledge those of us who came here involuntarily, particularly those brought to these lands as a result of the transatlantic slave trade and slavery. In support of the City of Toronto's ongoing efforts to confront anti black racism, I pay tribute to those ancestors of African, Caribbean, and black origin and descent. I'll now turn it over to my colleague, uh, Council Chang. Thank you, Councillor Moyes, and good morning, Mayor Chow and Deputy Chief Pogue, honored guests, members of the community. On behalf of Chair Ann Morgan and the Toronto Police Board, it gives me great pleasure to join all of you to launch a very important campaign, Make the Right Call. This is a topical campaign to let Torontonians know the way to get the right help at the right time. The board has been a strong and vocal advocate in searching for alternatives to the current community safety response model, acknowledging that there are situations that do not require the presence or legal police powers of the police. Community safety is and must be based on so much more than police response. The board has championed this reimagining of what community safety means for the people of Toronto, incorporating the voices of the public as well as other stakeholders. We have strongly supported a range of alternatives to police response, including community-based services to deal with non-emergency crisis calls and wellness checks. And the board has been very much in support of the Auditor General's recommendations for the city manager and the chief to undertake a very important public edu campa education campaign to improve public awareness and understanding on when to call 911, 211, 311, and the non emergency line, which is 416 808 2222. How many of you have memorized that? <laughs> <laughs> or utilize online police reporting. It has been exciting to see the range of services that have been introduced in recent years and those that are currently under development. But with this forward momentum, we know comes the need to ensure that members of the public are aware of how they can make the right call at the right time to get the services that they need in that critical moment. Communicating this information and spreading it widely is key to the success of each of these programs and the way in which we can coexist together. We all have a role to play. Knowing when to call 311, 211, 416 808 or 911, or even to make an online police report will ensure that members of the communities get the right help at the right time. I want to thank all who have been involved in developing and implementing this campaign and bringing it to life in a way that will make it accessible to all Torontonians. I know there have been so much happening across divisions for many months behind the scenes, and we are so grateful for your diligence and your commitment. Let us all commit to making the right call. Now I would like to invite our Mayor Chow to come and say a few words. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. I want to thank all of you for being here. It's wonderful to see all the support we are receiving. Of course, I'm today joined by Councillor Chris Moyes and Lily Chang. 
uh, Deputy Chief Polk, Interim Fire Chief Larry Coco, and Toronto Paramedics uh, Deputy Chief Jamie Burnett, said, uh, here you are, and Deputy City Manager of Community and Social Services Tom Asus, that are on that side, okay. Today we are launching a campaign that will help Torontonians get the help they need and by calling the right number and when they are in a crisis or not. I'm happy to see this campaign launch to give clarity to residents because 911, 311, 211, it can get a bit confusing. The Auditor General said because there are a good number of calls that 911 get that are not emergency, it can be handled in a much better way by making the right call. We are helping other Torontonians that desperately need that 911 call respond to quickly. And we own it to each other to make the right call. And also, if we make the right call, we get the right kind of service immediately, right? So um, I'll give you an example. My dad lived uh, in a senior homes for quite a while, and at the later part of his life, uh, well, actually, the last time that I made a 911 call, it was my, when my dad couldn't really breathe. He had serious pneumonia. Uh, and it was scary because it didn't get picked up immediately. And me as the daughter watching my dad and the anxiety levels is incredible. I'm glad the EMS came in due time, got my dad to the hospital, and he got the care he needed. Now, he was old, it was pneumonia, he had difficulty breathing. So obviously I made the right call. But sometimes it's not so clear, because I had my mom that occasionally bang her head, fall, were crying in pain. Was she immediately in need of help? I didn't know, but I knew that I could grab, because she was not, not breathing, I was able to get her onto a car, took her to the hospital. It wasn't an emergency. It was that, or she needed an x-ray. Um, so I did that a few times too. I happened to know when to make the right call, but it's not that simple. So if we make the right call, we get good service. Then there are four choices. 211, our newest service, available citywide. If someone is having a mental health crisis, not, not a danger to themselves or to others, your neighbor is having a meltdown, call 211, okay? And they will, uh, the 211 staff will get a trained professional to come and help you, and they would even do follow-up. If you need uh, a garbage pickup, don't call 911. Or a poor dog or cat, hopefully not, raccoon or something, got hit by a car, don't call 911. Call 311. Tree, the tree, hmm, it uh, needs a bit of maintenance. The branch, it's looking a bit dubious call 311, okay? And of course, there's a fire. Someone's not breathing, or someone's seriously injured in a car accident. You need first responder that are the fire, ambulance, police, call 911. Do not hesitate. Crime going down. Something is happening. Call 911. Um, but if you're just reporting something that are not urgent, you can then call your local division and come and record it, okay? 
Of course, that's the police non-emergency line. And by making the right call, you will get the right help, clear the way for others to do the same. And by working together, we can make sure all Torontonians can feel safe and supported by our city. So do make the right call. Let me turn the time to Chief uh, Lauren Polk to provide remarks. Thank you, Mayor Chow. Very happy to be joining you uh, here today to launch our joint Make the Right Call public education campaign. Thank you to, uh, to Councillor Chang, Councillor Moyse, our, all our Deputy Chiefs and uh, Interim uh, Chief um, Larry Coco, um, and all our, our emergency uh, partners who are here today, first responders. Um, really just welcome to headquarters. Uh, when Torontonians call 911 for help, the calls go to our operators at the Toronto Police Call Centre. Our police call centre receives 1.2 million calls, uh, 911 calls annually. And on top of this, we also receive 664,000 calls per year on our non-emergency police line. So we must be able to assist everyone who calls us as quickly as possible. But right now, many people are using 911 emergency line for situations that aren't an emergency, and these lines could be uh, better addressed. In an emergency, seconds matter. And this is why we are launching Make the Right Call Awareness Campaign in partnership with the City of Toronto. It's to better help Torontonians, uh, sorry, to better help Torontonians, we are asking for Torontonians' help. The campaign starting today, uh, you, you'll see a number of ads, including social media posts and also transit shelter posters. And the objective of our joint Make the Right Call campaign is to reduce the number of non-emergency calls to 911 by increasing the understanding of when to call 911 and when to contact an alternate service. We want to empower the public with information that ensures everyone gets the right help when they need it, especially those in an emergency. People in immediate danger, witnessing or involving in an act of crime or in need of urgent, uh, urgent medical assistance should absolutely call 911. But for non-emergency issues, residents have additional resources available. And that is the non-emergency line 416-808-222, as uh, everybody's spoken about today. And that allows residents to connect with police services, personnel, and programs. It is also the place to report crimes that are not or are no longer an emergency. For instance, if your home has been broken into, but the offender is not, no longer on your property. You can also file a police report online for several situations, including parking complaints, hate-motivated graffiti, or theft under $5,000, among others. If you need to be connected to mental health support, social, social services, or community supports, 211 is the helpline that can assist you. The service is now available in more than 150 languages. If you need easy access to non-emergency city services, programs, and information, 311 can offer assistance in more than 180 languages as well. The right call gets you the right help and it keeps the 911 line open for police, for fire and for paramedics to respond more quickly to emergencies. So we're, we're, why now is uh, we're really launching that campaign today uh, in answer to the Auditor General's uh, recommendation 24 from the 2022 audit of 911 public safety and answering point operations. The goal of this report was to better help support the staff and to approve information management and outcomes, including wait times and response times for emergencies. As Deputy Chief of the Toronto Police Service, I can tell you that we are always looking for better ways to serve the public. The Make the Right Call campaign is the latest example of this, as it will help us decrease wait times and response times for those who need it. I want to thank the Mayor and the City of Toronto staff for their collaboration on this campaign. It's a great campaign and it's a very important one. I want to encourage everyone to make the right call and to get the help from the city and the police uh, when needed. Thanks, everyone. And we've been listening in at Toronto Police Headquarters for a campaign on making the right call, when and when not to call 911.